So I just finished listening to Tori Spelling's first episode of her podcast, Miss Spelling. It's mostly about her divorce of Dean McDermott after 18 years. She talks about how they first met. You know, they were both cheating on their spouses. They met on a set in Ottawa, Canada. And the first time he met her, like the whole not the whole theme of the podcast, but it starts and ends with dog shit, Tory shit. And she just has no concept that like not cleaning up her dog's shit on the floor is, is a problem. And she doesn't really give any, you know, respect that Tor Dean had an issue with this, like the whole marriage. And she goes back to, you know, don't you, like I was messy always. She clearly says, you know, I grew up in a family of wealth. I mean, we lived in a 56,000 square foot home. I was never taught how to clean, never taught how to cook. I didn't have to, um, which I get, but cleaning up dog, like why would you not want, I can't, we kind of saw this. Remember the, remember the reality TV shows? You know, we saw the chickens and the pig walking around and you know, had all the dog poop and you know, Anyways, it's interesting. She does call him right after she files for divorce and leaves a voicemail. And then he calls back. She doesn't put his voice on because I think it's illegal to do that. And he seems to be a little upset about it. And then she ends the call with, I love you. So they seem like, you know, they're doing okay. Her kids are now 17, 15, 12, 11, and 7. So she talks about Stella, who's the 15-year-old daughter, about school and how people talk about their family and the rumors about them living in an RV. It almost seemed like Tori denied that. Maybe they were just on vacation. I don't know. Remember all those pictures from Daily Mail and living in like $100 hotel rooms? I don't know what the real truth was there, I guess. Um, but, you know, Stella seems like concerned about her doing a podcast and like, oh, now everyone at school is going to talk about us even more. So those ages are so tricky. Um, I almost wish, I don't know, I would love a reality TV show, but with just Tori, like doing something else. Maybe her and Jenny Garth, you know, and their business stuff, their BFF collection, QVC or something. I don't know. But basically they, she talks about, you know, her and Dean had always had issues and she thought about divorcing after the first two kids. So a long time ago. She said, as soon as they can unbuckle their own car seats, I'll divorce. And then she had another kid, and then another kid, and then another kid. And she says, after that last kid, Bo, I should have divorced, and I didn't, seven years ago. So she finally is now, um, she talks about his anger issues, his alcohol issues. I guess he's sober now, which is a good thing. Um, but she ends it, it's a 40 minute podcast. She ends it with, um, you know, him always having a problem with her being messy and not picking up dog shit. And she's like, from day one, when you came to my hotel room to have sex with me, there was clothes everywhere and dog shit everywhere. Basically saying, I showed you who I was. I didn't send my representative. I showed you who I was from day one, but she just doesn't understand that anyone would have a problem with that. I mean, she seems nervous in the podcast, uh, which is understandable. She's got a bunch of people in the room. Can't really see how, you know, hear how many, but a few do an interview, uh, asking her questions and kind of, you know, hyping her up, you know, like you're awesome, you're whatever. Um, she's got a lot of insecurities, which I think we've seen over the years. Anyways, I wish the best for her. The podcast kind of ended abruptly where her and Dean have this argument and he basically says, look, I've been cleaning up Tori Spelling's dog or shit for the last 18 years. And then the podcast just ends. And I'm like, wait, what? Like, there's no mention of like, join us for part two next Sunday. Like, I don't even know. Anyways, so I got to figure out when part two comes out. Let me know if you listened, what you thought.